Hey guys, Ken Boyd with the Accounting Accidentally website, where you'll find over 500 blog posts and links to over 350 of my YouTube videos here. So this post is called, What the Over $4 Billion Jewel Write-Down Teaches Us About the Accounting Concept of Goodwill. So that's what we're talking about here. It's one of the most misunderstood concepts in accounting, and the stakes are very high for goodwill, because normally a goodwill transaction that I'm describing has a big impact on the company. So Altria, the cigarette maker, took a huge financial hit in early 2020 in its investment in Juul that we all know as the firm that produces the smokeless vaping product. So Reuters explained that they recorded a, an over $4 billion charge in the fourth quarter in its Juul investment nearly three months after taking a $4.5 billion charge in the e-cigarette maker. So this was actually the second time that it happened. Why did it happen? Well, it was mainly due to the increased number of legal cases pending against Juul and expectations that the number will, go, will grow. So it is a legal issue. So let's take that and ask the question, what does, quote, taking a tar- charge mean exactly? So let's start at the beginning. Assets are used to create revenue in your business. The example I've used is if you're a plumber and you're out visiting homes making repairs using a truck, Eventually, the truck declines in value and you post depreciation expense to account for the decrease in the truck's value. The depreciation expense and all the other expenses are matched with revenue from using the truck earned while using the trucks. So we've got expenses and revenue matched. And as it happens, goodwill is also an asset. In my all-in-one book, Accounting All-in-One for Dummies, I explain that goodwill is an intangible asset, meaning an asset with no physical presence. So patents, copyrights, trademarks are all assets that are intangible. And here's the source of confusion. The big issue is is that goodwill cannot be internally generated. And that may sound strange. Because when you think about when Apple invented the iPhone, didn't they take all those research and development costs and capitalize the cost as an asset? After all, the iPhone made Apple billions of dollars at this point. And the answer in most cases in accounting is no. And here's the reason why. Accounting standards assume that it's too difficult to identify the specific R&D costs that create the intangible asset. So to be conservative, accountants expense the R&D costs as incurred. Expenses incurred, it's the principle of conservatism. So we have intangible assets. We can't generate goodwill internally in green. And asset values must be assessed in purple, which is the next thing. You create goodwill when you purchase an asset for a price that's greater than the fair market value of the assets. And I have a YouTube link here that explains more on the debits and credits, which brings us to the jewel right down. You can't have an asset on your balance sheet at a value that's more than it's currently worth. So when Altria determines the pending litigation reduces the value of jewel, it must decrease the asset account and increase expenses, which causes what they call taking a charge or taking a write-off. So what's the lesson here? If a company pays a premium for another business and posts the balance to goodwill, it's taking a risk because if the acquired firm declines in value, the decrease in value will be immediately posted to expenses. So remember that you can find more content on accounting, personal finance, and entrepreneurship by joining Conference Room. Here is the site where I post content each week on accounting and finance, both video, accounting, personal finance, and entrepreneurship, both video and blog posts. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.